Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I'll be going over my favorite T16 strategy that is pretty well known, but um, I want to go over how to get started and where to get all the stuff and how to make it as cheap as possible. So I'll be going over the 8 mod stack deck farming strategy with the divination scarabs of the cloister. If you didn't know what this is, is basically you put in five of these and it spawns a bunch of mobs that drop stack decks. I want to make a disclosure early on in the video. This strategy doesn't work as well for projectile based characters. It works really well for characters that have a, a lot of explodes or ignites or um, chaos damage over time. Um, basically, these mobs will have um, little bubble shields over them and projectiles are going to have a really hard time if they don't have any sort of explosions attached to them. Anyways, to get started, let me show you guys how to get the 8 mod maps first. So first you're going to need your 8 mod maps. What you're going to want to do is go over to TFT and head over down to 8 mod maps bulk and just search whatever map you have scryed or whatever map you're farming. Preferably it would be something like Strand or Jungle Valley, something like that. So for me it's Jungle Valley. And here, look for people that are selling rejects with quant. The reason I say this is because it's not really worth buying the random ones or even just with a rejects because you need at least 110 quant and 40 pack size in order to get very consistent and high returns on this. If you're worried about the cost regarding the rejects with quant, I say anywhere from between 15 to 20 chaos per map is very reasonable because you'll be making back way more preferably you want it at like you know 18 ish because that's what most people are selling at if you can get cheaper that's fine if you can't 20 is fine as well once you have your eight mod maps with at least 110 quantity and 40 pack size next you can start worrying about the divination scarabs of the cloister Luckily, this league, you don't have to worry about going and trying to find who's the price fixer, who's not a price fixer, and dealing with all that crap. You're just going to head over to Faustus, click on Cloister, just like that, and always buy in Chaos and not Divine Orbs. The reason being is you get a lot more Cloisters per Divine in Chaos. Also, don't worry about the price for this as well. Um, you can put in a long-term buy order for just a little bit less than what the going rate is for. And um, I do that quite a lot. So it says 6 for 1 if you put it in at 5.2 for 1 instead and just let it sit there. You're people are going to sell and you're going to have uh, Cloister Scarabs for a lot cheaper. I was doing this strategy when it was at like 7 to 8 chaos per, so it's still perfectly fine. The um, price fluctuates between like 4 and 6 usually. I've seen it as low as 3, but um, that was for like a really short time. Alright, so now for the Atlas Tree. Um, let's talk about some of the most important aspects. The first one being Ritual. Um, what this does is it pulls in mobs and each time you do a ritual there's a chance of you killing those mobs in the ritual and dropping stack decks. Next would be shrines because just having more natural mobs increases the pack densities and um, you just get a lot more loot. After that you could do either Eater or Exarch. It's totally up to you. Um, you can just switch this around based on what you like. I like Eater so I'm doing that then you want to make sure you have all your explicit modifiers for your maps just because this is going to increase the amount of loot. Um, if you can't do that level of difficulty, um, you could take off some of the nodes. So lastly, what you want to do is spec into scarabs and um, I just like doing that because I have the extra points to do so and it just this strategy drops a ton of scarabs. As you can see here, I've also blocked out certain mechanics. This is because I don't want to do them, and they also block those scarabs, that, so I get more of the nicer ones that I want to farm. 
So in terms of what you want to get first, if you don't have all the points, obviously you want to get all of your ritual stuff taken care of. Make sure you have 100% chance. Then you want to get all the explicit modifiers and the Eater of the World's Influence or Exarch, whatever you like. And then after that, get Shrines and then spec into Scarabs. Once you have your 8 mod map ready and uh, one Divination Scarab of the Cloister for each slot, um, what you want to do is scroll down and click on Domination. This is because you want more Shrines and you want more natural mobs. So I'll show you guys just an example map of what this looks like. I'm playing cast when stunned Ignite Chieftain and this is awesome because it just blows everything up and it's super tanky and I can just chill and farm. Don't worry about going super fast or anything like that. Obviously the faster you can do it, the better it is. But yeah, just take your time, have fun with it, and um, yeah, I'll link the rest of the video here. I also wanted to mention if you get basic currency is duped, you definitely want to take that because um, this counts as basic currency. You also want to be taking more quant notes as well.
So as you guys can see after the map, I got 66 stacked decks. Sometimes you get a lot more, sometimes you get less. Um, but usually it's around this range and it'll add up to about like 60 to 70 usually, at least on Jungle Valley. You also get a lot of other little loot, um, like these ambush scarabs, they go for like 11 to, yeah, 11 chaos total. Um, but it adds up over time and you can also drop a lot of nice scarabs like the containments or the ones worth over a divine. You also drop raw divine orbs a lot because of the, the amount of monsters there are. Even in just one map, the whole map was paid for and we made more. It's very consistent and that's why I like this. So once you're done looting and everything, um, you have, you know, say you have like a certain amount of stacked decks, all you have to do is go over to Faustus, say I have stacked decks, and I want divines. And usually they're at like 85 to 90. Um, this is a little high, so I'm going to put 87 for one. And put a bunch of orders on there. So this will people will buy this pretty quickly. And you could just sit there and not do anything at all. And you can just go back to farming. Part of why I like this strategy so much is because of how quickly you can liquefy everything just straight through the currency exchange market. And the stuff you do liquidate quickly, it pays back way more than what you ever put in. So I'd also like to mention this strategy makes a ton of gold passively. I'd say on average you'd be making like 20 to 30,000 per map. So yeah, you'll be making currency, gold, and you'll be able to feed your uh, gambling addiction. So to quickly go over everything in this strategy, you want T16 Nate mod maps that you're farming with at least 110% quantity and 40% pack size, five divination scarabs of the cloister, and on your atlas device, you want to select domination. While you're in the map, select quantity nodes, and then basic currency can be duplicated. Then if you get maps can be duplicated or scarabs can be duplicated, also get those if you can. Um, you don't have to if you can't do the mods, but it helps quite a lot. I'll also have my current atlas tree linked for you guys in the description. That's all I have for you guys today with this strategy. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below and I'd be more than happy to answer. Um, if you have any other strategies you want me to try, I'd be more than happy to do so. Um, just let me know down below. And yeah, have a good one guys.